What's up, y'all? So today I'm just going to talk about if you are still living in this 3D realm, the 3D aspect of the realm. It's full of low vibration, negative energy, mind control, manipulation, psychosis, all of that. Slime beneath me, moon. Slime. It's interesting that there are a lot of people who still want to be underneath that spell because it's very toxic. They will keep you always wanting and striving for more, which is the best thing, but at a cost. You pretty much utilize all your energy in one spot for the most part, and you might not even get to that happiness. You're not, you might not succeed. It just depends on how you perceive, how you stand in your own way. Because really at the end of it all, you're the one who controls this. You're the captain of this ship called life. And as interesting and crazy as that seems, you control what you see. Do you control me? One could say, yes, you do. I'm here. For attention, right? For your attention? So, I'm being willed to do this, I guess. But that's a different aspect. That's a different perception base. It, everything really comes down to perception at the end of it all. I mean, that's just how life works. And really, the human civilization has to get to the point where we get past that 3D toxic energy, that stagnant energy, working hard just to receive pennies. Perceiving money as the ultimate gratification source in life. We have lost perspective on what this civilization could possibly be, how far it could go because everything's become capitalistic. You think these people are at war with one another because they are angry at one another? No, they're all a part of the organization. It's all tied together. Just in time, I see. Take a good hard look over there. So, some ballers hanging around a dope spot. So what? Just watch, homie. What the fuck? Oh, no. Shit, Smoke, what you into? Shh, that's it. Look at that ride. That's the motherfucking green saber. Crash making you sell us out? Moms! Sorry, Issy. I heard a rumor and poked around. I didn't believe it myself, but... They have to put on a performance for you in order to keep you in a specific spot, in order con to control and utilize your energy in the workforce. But it works. Why do I bring the system out? Why do I highlight all of this stuff? Because at the end of it all, when the planet begins to shift itself, none of this will matter to anyone. So, I really just came here to say, we have to do better. We have to be better. We have to perceive better. Because if you don't, well, that's it. Game over. Game over. Here it goes. Get ready. The user wins. Enzo, no, no! <laughs> so, how are you perceiving your life? Hopefully in a high manner. Now, for me, when I started this journey, 
I didn't really believe in all that manifestation stuff. I really didn't. But as time progressed and as I began to cater my thoughts around certain things, just to see if it would work, those things would would manifest, especially with my past lives. It was an interesting way of finding out that this realm is a realm of all possibilities. It would come to mind and then I would go back and read about it and see if it matched up with what uh, the accounts had said uh, from these scholarly articles and it would match. And I would be like, oh. I live past lives. It's a hexagon. It's not made of Earth. This is so strange. I wish I had Roku. I do have Roku. You're right, eh? All the past avatars, all their experience and wisdom is available to you if you look deep inside yourself. So, you really just have to be true with yourself, where you are. You're far more than a color. You're far more than a gender. You're far more than what you've been told you are. And if the powers that be perceive some of us as dangerous and a threat to their authority, you don't have authority. Please stop going well above your station. Please, just stop. At this point, it's about to take place. And it's, all I can say to you is good luck. So, I will leave you with this. If you can perceive yourself as more, you won't ever have to worry about death anymore. You won't ever have to stress about the great finality of life. That will be a thing of the past. But once you get to a point where you can perceive differently, where you can perceive different realms and different understandings, different perceptions or thought patterns, you got this, you're golden. Now, I listen to a lot of historians talk about the Sumerians and uh, the, the story of Gilgamesh and all that. Oh, God, the story of Gilgamesh. The Epic of Gilgamesh. The story starts with Gilgamesh, king of the city of Uruk, crashing every wedding and sleeping with the bride before she has a chance to sleep with her husband. All of that stuff, Zachariah Sitchin's stuff, he was a part of the organization, so, I mean, I wouldn't take very much stock in some of the stuff that he said. It's truth mixed in with the lies, of course. I will leave you with this, and I said that last time, but for real. Gold can be made. You really don't need someone to mine it as slaves. I mean, why would anyone make a form just to enslave them? Especially a low-level form. Painting. Painting. Colors produced on a surface by applying a pigment. Yes. Soft. Yes. Very good, Lal. You have correctly processed the sense of touch. There are many fascinating experiences I wish to share with you. Painting. No. That is a flower, Lal. Inhale. Smell. Yes. Show me more, Father. We would at least get make you stronger. You're not very strong, so. Well, we were bigger back in the day. Well, uh, you might have a point with that one, so. Oh, 
I guess we'll go with it. With that being said, the truth will come out. It always tends to come to light, somehow or some way. Now, with a smile on and positive vibes, your way. For the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.